Hey guys, welcome to the another tutorial video, today we will review how to use our liquidity screener. First, let's move to our dashboard and then choose, liquidity screener. Here we can see the table that contains limit orders data for different tickers and exchanges. Let's see what information the table provides. First we can see the traded pair information, like Bitcoin to USDT or other pairs. Then we can see the distance to the limit order. It represents distance between the limit order price and the current coin price. Order type shows us whether buy or sell limit order was placed. We can also see the price level of the limit order. Order quantity shows the amount of coins to buy or sell in the limit order. We can also see the order quantity of the limit order calculated in USDT. Order duration shows how long ago the limit order was placed. Now we are getting to more interesting data that we collect in our screener. Distribution of orders quantities represents how different are limit orders by size. High distribution means that there are both small and large limit orders for a given coin. Order quantity updates represents an interactive mini heat map that shows quantity changes of the limit order. It allows to quickly understand the dynamics of all limit orders. Order strength is one of our best indicators. It calculates relative quantity size of the limit order compared to all other limit orders for a coin. The higher the strength of the order, the greater the influence on the price. Touches of the order shows how many times the current price touched the price level of the limit order during its duration. We can also see how many times the current price touched the price level of the limit order today. And lastly the screener shows us the approximate filling of the limit order. We use the market volumes from exchange to calculate this value with a great precision. Now let's talk about filtering tools. First of all you can sort the table by any field you want. In the screener settings you can filter the records by any field. For example you can search for the strongest and longest limit orders in the table. You can also set telegram notifications. The telegram bot will notify you when the desired limit order was found. And you can customize the table fields to only show the most needed fields for you. Alright, now let's try to find interesting situations on the market with the screener. First of all I will try to find the nearest limit orders. The first one looks good. It has also 100% order strength. And the order size is about $500,000. Looks interesting. Let's check it out. Okay, here we can see this limit order. And it looks like this order is making a high selling pressure. The price already bounced from this limit order at least two times. We can definitely see that this limit order has an impact on the price. We may expect the price to go even lower, if this limit order is not removed. Also this sell limit order is not being absorbed much by the buyers at the moment. We can see that on the footprints and on the delta chart. The time passed and we can now see how this limit order impacted on the price. Two times the buyers tried to absorb this limit order but failed and the price went down. Then it looks like someone just cancelled this limit order and that allowed the price to finally grow. This type of order book manipulations usually happen on the market so you should be aware of it and recognize the manipulation in time. That is why using liquidity and order flow analysis tools is important during your trading sessions. Because it allows you to look at the market from a different perspective. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. Wish all of you stable profits, bye.